in the previous session i spoke about how you can declare a structure model or a prototype and then actually go about defining a structure type of variable called as student in this particular session what i'll do is i'll show you how you can read data into a structure type of a variable it is very simple it is something similar to what you would read into a normal variable the first thing is in order to proceed to read and print data from a structure variable first we need to declare or create the model structure or the blueprint so here if you see using the struct keyword i have declared a blueprint whose name is student underscore info just to emphasize no memory is allocated here this is just a model or a blueprint first is roll number name age and gender of different data types int char and float so don't worry why age is float just to show you different combinations i have used age as float now the next step what i am going to do here is this is the syntax of creating a variable of this particular type now when i say struct student underscore info student now a variable of this particular type will be created what it means is student is going to be a block of memory where it's going to be able to store roll number name age and gender then next what i'm going to do here is i'm asking the user enter the data items that means i need to read the roll number need to read the name read to need the gender and read to need the age so here if you first part if you look here this part is very similar percentage d because roll number is a int percentage s because name is a string percentage f because age is a float observe this why i have given this space this will be clear when you look at the demo which follows this particular video please observe this space really important then i have percentage c so for percentage d instead of directly saying address of roll number i have to refer roll number through this particular student so i am saying address of student dot roll number name is a string so it is already an address so student dot name age is again an floating point type of a data so it is address of student dot age gender is again a character so again it is address of student dot gender so this is the way i read data into a structure the important part here is everything is same as you would normally read except that you have to use every access through student dot to go to the roll number the reason i have given a space here is let me give a very brief explanation for those of you who are curious assume i press percentage f okay so assume i type in age and i press the enter key since enter key is a character that will get stored into gender without allowing me to enter f or m so by giving a space what i am doing is the enter key is captured by this space then it gives me an opportunity to enter m or f from the keyboard now printing is of course very easy there is no difference between printing a structure and printing a normal except that everything has to be prefixed with student so if i am printing roll number it will be student dot roll number name will be student dot name age will be student dot age gender will be student dot gender so this simple program is also going to be shown as a demo to you following this particular video just observe how the data is read in the demo how the data is printed during the demo because that will give you a live hands on experience about how to read content into a structure how to print content from a structure be sure this is just a model blueprint no memory memory is allocated for this okay and based on this it has all these members and i read data using student into all the individual members of the structure type of variable 